Show me how. Okay, I shall. I will show you how to just start out any kind of strip flooring. I'm doing nail down hardwood nail down flooring. I'm starting in my hallway for a reason because I'm trying to get my daughters in a clean environment uh, expediently. So normally I would probably do the, the big room, the grand room here first and then move it on down the hallway. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the hallway and then I can spill over into the bedrooms because I'm doing the entirety of the grand room, which I'll show you later. Uh, and um, all the rooms, everything except the kitchen and the bathroom. And they have, believe it or not, they have this epoxy flooring. And boy, was it a monster to get up. Not that bad, but not fun, okay? And I'll show you. Okay, now, if you see here, You see I marked a line and I ran a straight edge. I pulled the string all the way down and that's how I got these first rows, okay? And they're actually pretty darn straight considering these are smaller pieces of wood, all right? So what I did was, you see the line, I pulled my line and I make sure that it's equal distance off of that portion of the wall, this portion, and then of course you're gonna to wanna to check it you're gonna to wanna to check it. So because this cabinet's temporarily here, which it will be gone, I checked it off of that toe kick, which is at the bottom of the cabinet, okay? And you could you could pull off of anywhere. But the toe kick is right here. Hence, toe kick. Okay, so I put down the rosin paper. I've put down paper before. Do you really need it? I don't know. I mean, if you spill water, how much water are you gonna spill? I mean, if you've got that much permeating your subfloor, then at that, that point, you're probably in trouble anyways. So get your straight line. And then what you have to do is stagger it. Okay. As you can see here, it's staggered. So you really don't want the joints very close, number one. And then you don't want to leave yourself a dead end, number two. And so that's what I'm doing, okay. And I'm coming down here, down the hallway, like I said. And you can see what I'm doing. Now, I actually committed a venial sin. I went out and bought a Harbor Freight floor nailer. I have a port -a cable I bought a Harbor Freight one 15 years ago. It was horrible. Leaked oil. Did about 400 square feet and then started pooping out leaking oil, weighed 500 pounds. But I'll tell you what, this thing today, this little banks is not bad so far. I've only done about 20 square feet. It's a stapler, which staples are always stronger than nails, kids. Don't forget. And uh, it was a smoking deal. I got a 90 warranty on it. If it lasts, great. If not, I'll go down and get another one, even though that's... I don't like that, that's a venial sin. So, I've cut my edges. What you wanna do is keep back an eighth inch or so for expansion, contraction, all right? And you know, you wanna mix up the pattern. You don't wanna have a bunch of small ones right in a row. And this is that cabin grade, that industrial grade hardwood flooring. Folks, this is the best deal in town. So this is the first stage. I'll try to show you more. If you'd subscribe and follow my videos, I'll do a lot more, okay? And so this is the first step, get it all nailed down. And then I will show you how, show me how, we'll show you how to sand it, fill it, finish it. And then after that, of course, you're gonna put your molding on top of it, okay? And again, this is the pile I have, and this is that epoxy flooring. Now, if you want to see what it was like, let me go grab you a piece. All right. 
And this guy was probably way ahead of his time. Because I don't know when he did this. But. He did it a long time ago. And. This is that resin, the epoxy, and you can see, thank the good Lord that he put down the substrate, okay? Because if he put that straight down on the subfloor, I'd have been in trouble. I had to cut out all my subfloor. So he did, and he did it right, so that's what I peeled up. You know, it's not bad, but it's kind of lumpy. The hallway was pretty nice. This piece here is really smooth, so I had to get rid of it. Nobody liked it. My family didn't like it, so. All right, that's it for now, folks. You lay it out. You really wanna start from the grand room. Just so you know, this is kind of the grand room. It's pretty big. And, uh, but because of my daughters, I'm trying to get their rooms looking pretty nice and I've already painted, scraped the ceilings. Oh, by the way, well, if you see some of my other videos, on scraping ceilings, let me show you. So overall, boy, they came out beautiful. All right, and I can show another video on that. Now this is where I'm touching up. Obviously, I've already scraped if you saw my other videos. Now I'm not gonna do too much with the walls, but look at those ceilings. Boy, they're like velvet. Suede. Look at that, suede. I don't know what that is. It's they're a little holiday. All right, there's some holidays here, but it's super smooth. And you can see the walls. The walls have texture on them. And I've got one coat of paint here. I've got to double coat it. So there's a little freebie for you. Now, the lens is picking up a lot of different variations here, which is pretty cool. I guess they can see more than the naked eye. But, nonetheless, it's really, came out really fantastic. I think the digital cam is picking up more than the natural eye. And I probably could have double coated the ceiling. So much for Benjamin Moore covering in one, one batch. I don't know about that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Show me how we'll return.